Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hold on, it's a little crooked. Good morning. Happy hump day. Did you guys just see me spill water all over my phone? <laughs> oh, Lord. Hi, welcome. Good morning. Yes, numbers are climbing. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, today's topic is juicy, right? Um, can you be too forgiving? And I thought this was a really good topic, and somebody asked it on my live on Monday, so I figured I'd talk about it. Um, so it's going to be a really juicy one. So um, let me start out by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Justine Luzzi. I am a spiritual life coach, healer, and mentor. Um, I specialize in supporting highly sensitive people and empaths as well. Um, so I'm an empath myself. Um, so I'll give you a little definition of what an empath is if you're a little lost. Um, being an empath is when you're deeply affected by other people's energies and emotions and have an innate ability to intuitively feel and perceive others. Being an empath is much more than being highly sensitive. It involves special intuitive gifts as well. Um, so yeah, so I specialize in that support. Um, and I reference being an empath and a highly sensitive person a lot um, because that's what I am and that's where our, uh, my pain points are. So I like to talk about um, how to manage being that way. Um, but again, today is about, uh, and this is for everyone, um, not just HSPs and, and empaths, but this is for everyone. Um, this question was asked on my live on Monday and you know, the question was, can you be too forgiving? So there's a few parts to this. Um, let's define forgiveness then, right? Because I think what a lot of people have around the word forgiveness is by forgiving someone, we're allowing them, allowing the behavior that they, allowing the behavior that they endured, um, that they showed was, um, is okay, right? So, most of us think that by forgiving somebody, we're saying, okay, it's okay that they treated me this way. Um, that's actually false, right? Um, <clears throat> that's false because forgiveness is actually something that we do for ourselves, right? So forgiveness is for our own inner peace. And forgiveness comes from um, understanding the other person's perspective, opinions, behavior, right? So to un to understand is to forgive. So those two are very interchangeable. So that's why when somebody hurts you and you know you find yourself not being able to forgive them, I encourage you to find the compassion within yourself to understand the person's motives and to understand why this person behaved the way that they did. And the sooner you can do that, the better. And that's actually the steps to forgiveness is to understand the other person's behavior. So when it comes to the question, can we be too forgiving? Absolutely not. Being too forgiving is, is not a bad thing. And there's no, um, it's almost like, I absolutely hate when people say this person is too nice. There's no such thing as somebody being too nice. That's absolutely ridiculous. There's no such thing. Um, being, the, there's no such thing as being too forgiving. And I can see why the why somebody would ask this question. So after the forgiveness process, that doesn't mean that we allow the person to continue the same behavior, right? We can heal from the situation, but that doesn't mean that we can go back to it. Um, thanks, Lance. Um, that doesn't mean that we, that we should go back to um, where we were hurt in the, in the first place. Um, so I think what somebody means when they say, can this person, can we be too forgiving means why are we accepting the person back into our lives on a continuous basis who continuously hurts us in the same exact way? So that could be a fault of ours, right? Um, because we're allowing this person to do these things to us. So this actually comes with boundaries, right? So this actually doesn't have anything to do with forgiving. So after the forgiveness process, um, it's up to us to have the boundaries, right? So if you have somebody in your life and you have let them know how you wanna be treated and they are not respecting your wishes, 
that's when the boundaries have to come into place, right? So you're actually getting into a situation where you're not allowing the other person to repeat the same behavior, right? Because um, what's that quote? Oh my gosh, that I'm thinking of. Um, it's about insanity. The definition of insanity is um, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, right? That kind of ties into what I'm talking about, right? Because if somebody continuously hurts you, whose fault is that, right? It's ours because we're allowing it to happen, right? We're the creators, right? We have control. So, yes, yes, Lynn, <laughs> yes. So we have control. So we, it's up to us to put the boundaries up, right? So if if you're asking this question, um, I'm too forgiving, I'm too forgiving, maybe you're letting, um, you, you're, you don't have any boundaries. Maybe you're allowing this behavior to happen. You need to look at yourself as opposed to blaming the other person at that point if it's a continuous thing. Does that make sense? Am I making sense to anybody? I'm talking a little fast. I think I am. I think I am. Okay, so, so yeah. So going back to the forgiveness part, and I'll just reiterate what I talked about. Um, there really is no such thing as being too forgiving. The process of forgiveness is for yourself, not for the other person. Um, the best way to forgive is to try to do your best to have compassion, put yourself in the other person's shoes, and try to understand the process to which um, they made their decisions, why they have their perspectives, why they decided to do what they have to do. You know, go psychology on it. Like, really under try to understand why somebody... Um, would do something to hurt you. Um, have a different perspective. Branch out. Don't sit there and play the victim. Try to understand. It's go it's the steps to forget. That's the steps. That's the key to forgiveness. Is understanding why the other person hurt you. Does this make sense? So much here. There's something I'm going through. Let's finish. Trying to get my. Right. Right, Lynn? So it's time to put some boundaries up, right? And protect ourselves. So, um, yeah. So forgiveness is actually a gift. So I'm going to just, like, kind of wrap this up because I feel like I'm repeating myself. And I think I got the point across pretty well. Um, forgiveness is for you, right? And it's actually a gift. It's a gift of, of inner peace. And the more we can get to a place of forgiveness for all those people that have harmed us in our lives and have hurt us, um, the better. And the better your life will be. And, um, you know, I've had people in my life that have hurt me really badly and um, to the point where I do have forgiveness for them. Um, but they're not allowed in my life um, because that's the boundary, right? They're not allowed to be in my presence because I have told them how I wanted to be treated um, they completely disrespected that on many levels, many different times. And because of that, that's the boundary. So, um, forgiveness with boundaries. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps everybody, um, watching and anybody watching on the replay. I love practicing forgiveness. Yes. Yes. Gratitude is interesting when that you bring that up because, um, I think after the forgiveness process comes, <clears throat> excuse me, um, comes gratitude because we need to be grateful for the situations that we're in, no matter how traumatic or painful they are, because they're actually teaching us a lesson and they're teaching us what we don't want. Um, quite, but why do we let it happen over and over? Does that say something about us? Okay, interesting. Yes look at your own behavior, right? Um, so if you're allowing somebody to continuously treat you a way that you know um, you don't want to be treated, I would say look at um, your self-worth, um, look at your self-esteem, look at, um, you know, I, I tend to find that it's linked to worthiness. So I would look at something like that. Um, you know, listen, <laughs> I know it's, and it's usually with people we love, right? We're, we're, we're beings that love other beings. And, 
you know, all of the stuff that I'm talking about, it's not easy. I mean, I just summed it up as like a process, but it could take years. It took me four years to four years to forgive somebody, a, a narcissistic sociopath person, four years it took. Okay. That's a long time. There's a lot of work involved. And there's a lot of compassion, not only for the other person, for yourself as well, right? So if, if you're finding yourself not being able to forgive or set boundaries in a timely manner or, you know, time, whatever that means, time, there is no time, to be honest with you. It's whatever feels good to you, however you process things, whether you process them more slowly, faster, whatever it is, don't rush it and don't beat yourself up. We all have our own timeline for healing. Oh, it's really not go. We don't have to go. Yes. Yes. I love that. To forgive and to let go. We develop ourselves from the level of consciousness and then we are able to forgive effortlessly rather than intellectually. I love that. So true. So true. But going back to what you were saying, Koi, um, I would definitely look at... Um, you know, how you feel about yourself, your relationship with yourself. And I think that could tell you a little bit more about 